It's time for round three! More smartness edition. We're gonna do that, and that, and... Um, I don't really want to do that again because I might actually just kill it. I mean, that does a lot- this thing only has around 3000 HP, and that dealt like 1400 damage. I mean, I don't really care if you kill Sid, he's not important, he doesn't have an enemy skill. Uh, he is gonna heal himself though. You actually want to defend, would be better. Because, well, I gave Aerith my fire resistance. For pretty obvious reasons, I think. Let's hit him again. Okay, yeah, he's, he just knocked him right out. That's fine. He was just gonna die when he used Beta anyway. I mean, most likely. It was the most likely scenario. I mean, I know you can use Beta if you're up like that. So do it already, please. Come on, let's not let's not waste too much time like this. Pretty please. Conscious of the fact that a Cloud no longer has fire resistance, I also put him on the back row. Uh, okay, the thing is, I don't want to use Aqua- I don't want to hit him, because first of all, I may actually just kill it. But second of all, uh, I didn't want it to do that. For fuck's sake. Hit me with better already! I mean, I can actually just peck away with you with my attack. You only deal like 200 damage with your bite attack. There we go. Finally. But now you need to fight him again to get it on Cloud. Ugh. That's annoying. Oh well. At least it'll go quicker that time because I'm not going to be worried about uh, him hitting people out. Now I expect this to actually just kill it. Yep. It actually gets the boss animation for dying. A paltry sum. But I got I got the attack, so it's fine. Um we'll give you the, your fire ring back. You can have the that one. I don't see it, so I guess I'll just run in and out so it respawns. And there it is again. <laughs> Excuse me. Come and get me! Dinner's here! Actually, it would be a pretty waterlogged meal, considering I'm, get I'm going to use this on you. And also hit you with that, and... Well, I mean, Aerith can't really do much here, if we're being honest. She... I mean, I don't care if she dies again, it's, it's all but inevitable. But I don't... I don't want to inflict stop on it by accident, and I don't want to kill it by accident. Both of which pose problems to weaken it enough. Uh, you know, I can use this, though. And I can hit him with Sid again. I don't want to hit him with Cloud, because obviously the obviously the song will eventually just flick someone out of the battle anyway, but it will generally do it to people who've actually dealt damage. Yeah. Come to think of it, that does make Cloud a target. Yeah, I will attack him with Aerith, like, it won't do much, but it'll prime him. 
Okay, yeah, this will definitely kill her instantly. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, she almost survived. Had she been at 100% life, she would have lived through that. Barely. Okay, I was too curious if I could kill it like this. I mean, obviously I can, but more I was curious how much it, it like. Okay, it definitely has more than 3,000 life. It must be more like 4,000. Hmm. Anyway. Maybe 350, actually. A little more than I initially thought, in any case. Okay, so... The rest of the stuff that I need to fight is, like, totally non-issue enemies. So, I'm not too concerned about healing up past this. What I do need to do, though, is... I mean, honestly, this is sort of premature. I'm gonna need to fight the Chocobos, but not until I get freaking low. Uh. What, it, what is it called? Wait. Do, do you see that? You, you do see it, because I can see it on my record preview video. The mountains are moving when I. Okay, there's something really wrong there. <laughs> They're still doing it. I mean, less now that I'm closer, but. Right, where is that stupid... I mean, I know it's in this area. I just need to find one. And then this time... No, no, you're not what I'm after. You are fodder for Chocobomog. Okay. Are these guys, like, resistant to win? Because that did not deal as much damage as I was expecting. Uh, okay, plan B. Match or magic. Still really, they must have, like, extremely high magic defense. Hmm. I did not know that. I mean, when you just when you essentially just kill everything by hitting with a sword, you don't really pick up on. The, oh, I'm fighting a chocobo. No, it's too early. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I, I'm okay. I'm just gonna do that. I wonder if I'm gonna steal from these actually. I. I can't reliably set off the chocobo to do the thing I want right now, so... Because I need the other enemy skill first. But I put on the chocobo lure anyway, because first of all, I knew I would need it, and second of all, because I know that one of the possible chocobo counters includes the enemy with the skill I need. Incidentally, uh, okay, yeah, that, that's gonna be interesting. The ability I'm looking for, spoiler alert, the ability I'm looking for is a level ability. I don't know if, I don't remember whether or not I've actually said the name. And one of my characters is a multiple of the, okay, you know, I'm definitely not on Chocobo track, so I'm not really sure why I'm fighting you, but whatever. Use Matra Magic and hit him. I mean, I guess I could just, like, hit him with my staff, that would still probably do it, to be honest. But I like doing it like this. <laughs> I suppose. And the trigger runs away again. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna need to cut to the freaking fight again. Because I remember I had a hard time finding it last time as well. Maybe if I go a little further back, because I know... Hmm. I know it wasn't right up in the chocobo area where I fought them before. Like, I can't go too far that way, or else I won't encounter them, but... 
No, you're not what I want either. Match your magic. Okay, counterattack works too, I suppose. Okay. Right, you know, I think I will cut to the freaking battle that I need. Because this could quickly get ridiculous. So, I'll see you in a minute, I suppose. FINALLY! This literally took over ten minutes. Now. I think I can manipulate you. And I'm- oh, okay, or you can just literally do it right away. Um, yeah, you know, you, you, you didn't- you didn't do that for me before, so I wasn't really expecting it, but I'll take it. <sighs> okay, well, we got level 4 suicide now. It's like level 4 death, except instead of inflicting death, it- well, basically, it puts them in a critical HP. Which is very useful, because we need to do that to a chocobo. Uh... So now that we have that... Fucking finally... Now that we have that... We can get... The chocobo... Enemy skill. Now this might take two or three tries, because it needs to, you know, have the right level multiplier, and I have no good way of checking that. So, <laughs> where where the hell is it? There. And I have no way of actually checking its level multiplier, so I'm sort of just hoping it's, you know, a multiple of four. Because not all of the chocobos in... Okay, it's not. Uh... Screw you, Chocobo! Note yourself, the double razor wind, or whatever the hell they're called, battle, that Chocobo, no good. I think most of the Chocobos in this era are a multiple level of four, but, well... As shown, not all of them. Okay. Next stop, another chocobo. Hmm, excuse me. You're not chocobos. You're not chocobos at all! But you are a good way to get a few kills on Aerith and Sin. Oh hey, I did not know I could steal those from these. I mean, that's not really useful, but still, I didn't know that I could steal it from them. No, as far... Nuts... <laughs> like greens are for chocobos. They're for a different aspect of chocobos. However, there's only one kind of nut... Wait, no, maybe two? There's only one or two kinds of nuts that I care about. Uh, and... Well, you might be able to steal them from something, I'm actually not sure. But... Okay, maybe you... Will have the thing. And this is so far down. It's a good thing I have weight on. Okay. Let's try this again. Incidentally... The reason I'm throwing it the green is because it is actually necessary in order for it to use the attack that I want it to use. Okay. Okay. We got it! Wait. I'm gonna need to do it twice, aren't I? Son of a bitch. <sighs> You know what? No. No, I really don't. I got it on Aerith. I don't 
don't need it on anyone else. Here's the reason why. Chocobuckle is an amazingly powerful ability if you are playing the original Japanese Final Fantasy VII. Because in that one, it dealt the no damage equal, it is a fixed damage attack, it dealt damage equal to the number of times you've run away multiplied by, I want to say 100, possibly by some other stat actually, I don't, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's multiplied by 100. However, in international and US releases of the game, well, US, North America, it doesn't work like that. It still deals damage, ba fixed damage, based upon the number of times you have run away in battle, but it does not have a multiplier. Presumably because it was too easy to take advantage of it and totally break the game. I mean, running away from 99 battles is not that big a deal. I did way more than that in Final Fantasy V in order to use the chicken was knife. And that one needed extra special conditions to use it properly, or else, well, or else I would have turned into a chicken. But no, it deals in this version of the game, and as far as I'm aware, every version that's not the original PS1 release in Japan deals damage equal to the, exactly equal to the number of times you've run away, which for me is a single digit number. It's, it's not zero, but it's like probably two or three, maybe a little higher than that, but I'm positive it's single digit. Which is why I don't need it on more than one person, because it is useless. Uh, but I do need it, it on one person for completion purposes. I need one enemy skill that has every enemy skill. <laughs> and you know what, if I screw up later on, I can come back here and give some- and give someone else an- er, and put Chocobuckle on another enemy skill, I suppose, but, you know, let's just hope that never happens. Uh, in any case, uh, this is probably short for you, but it's long for me, so I'm gonna stop off here. Join me next time, when we- I think we're going to the Gold Saucer. Actually, that'll be fun. <laughs> that'll be really fun. Until then, though, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!